Saturday, super sunny as usual. Look at that Cali weather. Jay, what are we doing? We are going to the farmer's market every Saturday. There's a farmer's market here, so go check out the stalls, have a look at the food, and then it's a workout after. Yeah, we're doing a workout today. I think I'm going to do a chilled out workout. I'm feeling a little bit tired, so I might do some mobility stretching and maybe a hundred chin ups. That's about it. Also, I've been getting attached to food here, to be honest. The protein bars and protein cookies, they're too available and they're too nice. So what I'm doing today is I'm doing a 24-hour fast. We're going for Mexican food tonight, which will be tasty, quite high calorie. So basically just consuming water all day, nothing else, and then we'll hit some burritos later on. Yeah, man, you've got to be like, uh, you've got to make sure that you can control your attachment to food. So if you feel you're getting attached to food, cut it for 24 hours. It's Some thoughts on fasting. Yeah, fasting, I mean, like, everybody thinks fasting is so extreme, but it's not at all. Like, I mean, as far as I see it, his ancestors used to fast every day anyway, just forage all day for the food, berries, um, leaves, you know, spinach. Yeah, well, that breakfast has been the most important meal of the day is just like crap that was spun by cereal companies in the 80s and 90s. Trying to get you to buy products and trying to get you to consume all throughout the day, because obviously if you consume all throughout the day, they're gonna earn more money. Here's the thing, we both have breakfast, because breakfast just means break your fast. We just break it later in the day, 2, 3, 4 p.m. You don't need to wake up and have some sugary crap or anything, really, even if you're having like avocado and eggs, salmon and eggs. Exactly. You don't need that, you don't need that. Push it back till later in the day, get loads of health benefits, and then eat bigger, larger meals in the later part of the day and go to bed satisfied. You don't need to, you don't need to be eating constantly. Like, it's good for the body to have a rest. It's good, with, that's what we used to do. We used to have a rest every day, and we used to eat in, in the evenings, our ancestors used to, and it's like, you'd go out and hunt and you'd get all the stuff that you needed to get done for that day, like like we're doing, basically get up, work, go to the gym, get all the stuff done, expend all the calories, use up all the stuff that we ate the day before, and then, you know, refuel. In, yeah, in the late afternoon or evening, refuel. That's what we're doing now, we're gonna go to the gym, do our work, and then eat later. So today I'm gonna to be busting some lyrics on my mobility warm up for my shoulder because like I said, it's been feeling a little bit junky. So here you can see I'm doing thoracic extensions on the foam roller. This is really good to open the chest up. If you're a desk fiend, if you've got a desk job and you've got internal rotation, do this. Here I'm just chilling, probably lurking on Instagram on some hot girls page, which I do on multiple times a day. But yeah, on the foam roller. And now into the pec minor, into the pec with the baseball, the lacrosse ball. This is really good to open up the myofascia of the chest. After that, looks like I'm getting into bed with a barbell, kind of. I don't know how my top came up there and looks like I've got a bit of a pot belly, which I actually haven't. There's abs definitely lurking around there, but that's weird how that looks. It's just the angle of the camera, obviously. Here I'm pinning my shoulder to the floor with the barbell, it's quite painful. But by pinning the shoulder to the floor and then doing that movement, which is internal, external rotation, I'm gonna floss through the shoulder and open up uh, any stiff areas. This is really, really good if your shoulder's feeling it, if your shoulder's feeling stiff, if it's feeling tight. Do this before any pushing exercises. This will really, really help out ungluing that shoulder and creating more mobility in that joint. Uh, but yeah, it's not for the lighthearted. It's pretty painful, as you can see. The faces I'm making um, aren't pleasant. Here I'm doing a step through kind of chest stretch. This is great. Lock your arm off on uh, something solid and just step away and you'll feel stretch all the way through the pec, the pectoral region and also through the shoulder. So again, it's good before any pushing exercises or pulling exercises if your shoulder's feeling tight, do this. Here I'm hanging from the rings and just doing a little twist side to side so my shoulders are getting stretched and also getting the lats involved. A bit of external, internal rotation with light weights. These are like 2 kg each. 10 of these, three sets. Warming up the rotator cuff muscles, which are important for good shoulder health. And here I'm up at a 90 degrees angle and doing the same thing again. Workouts done, damn, it is a scorcher today here in Southern Cali. 
that was a nice little mobility kind of stretching and you know body weight workout i feel good my shoulder feels better really focusing on that mobility and stretching now i'm gonna head back do some work and then this evening we're gonna hit the grove for some mexican we're off for dinner still fasting 24 hours we're about to smash mexican So we just got to the Grove after a massive faff round in the Uber, driving around the houses due to construction, but we're here, blood sugar levels are low, and the Mexicans got a massive queue, we're gonna hit Veggie Grill first, get something there, and then probably go there after. In Veggie Grill, hit the buffalo wings, and next up is the quinoa burger. Quinoa burger, boom. Veggie Grill's done, that was about a thousand calories in one sitting, now we're off to the Mexican, that's the burritos. Round two. I got the chicken burrito, Jamie got the vegan burrito, and we got the quesadillas to share. This is probably one of the best burritos I've ever had. Lotteria, Los Angeles. Check it out. What's that salsa saying? That salsa. That salsa dough. <laughs> Muy, muy, muy bien. It's all done. That's the power of 24 hour fasting. Two big dinners. Didn't blow my macros. Oh, I feel so full. Smashed it, bro. We smashed it. See you tomorrow.